So we're going to talk about the geometry of pressure in the perfect touch in this article, which is on the web at uh, danwinter.com slash touch. And I'm bringing up a mirror of it right now here. And the article is derived from the work of Dr. Manfred Kleins, who wrote the book uh, Centix, which is about this uh, waveform technology. Just bear with me just a second here. Here we have it, touch, danwinter.com slash touch. And the main picture that's of interest here is this one right here, which is about the waveforms that Dr. Manfred Kleins determined internationally were the way would people would touch in order to express different emotions. Now he measured this in a very particular way. He used a little model of a, a finger on a button on a spring that um, if you if you put a button on a spring in front of a person and said, now touch this button in such a way that you, that you feel joy, say. And so you would touch the button on a spring and convey that emotion in the shape of the way you would touch the button, the way the pressure would change over time. And if you passed a piece of paper behind the button as you touch it, you would make these little charts we're seeing down on the computer here now. So the axis along the bottom, the uh, x-axis, is the change in time. And the y-axis here is a change in the amount of pressure, where the increasing amount of pressure was when the wave went downward. So here's the change in pressure over time with a touch that said joy internationally. And notice that the touch that says anger looks a little bit similar, but the moment of maximum pressure occurs a little bit sooner. So there's essentially three events in the centic waveforms for emotion. There's the beginning of the, uh, this, what I call the beginning of the squeeze, the end of the squeeze, and the point of maximum pressure, or the point of the maximum squeeze, as it were. So I analyzed what Manfred Kleins did and came up with this simple series of ratios, where the touch that said joy is a touch that occurs one-sixth into the duration of the event. Whereas if you're squeezing somebody to say that you love them, the point of maximum pressure is much delayed or tantric or it waits until about 0.618 into the duration of the squeeze or hug that says love. So let's try to understand this in practical terms. Now first of all, he showed this happened around the world that he was experimenting with uh, the fact that when he touched his violin string, if he used rubato or uh, it gave shape to the fold of the way he would touch the violin string when he played his violin, that this would determine whether or not people would cry. And so he was very curious to look at how the change in touch over time, the change in pressure over time, would be how we expressed emotion. Remember that a change in geometry of pressure may be a way to describe, describe everything in the universe because everything is made of compressible jello. Or another way to think about that is that pressure or tension was Tesla's name for voltage. So you have this idea that if you could change pressure in the right cascade or sequence, you could create anything because you could blow the right soap bubbles or the donuts, which is how you create matter out of light. So braiding pressures properly is kind of like the glass bead game. You 